Have you ever struggled with HubSpot? No worries. I am here with a detailed video. I will show you step by step how we can create professional email marketing using HubSpot. Actually, HubSpot is a popular marketing and sales software platform that offers a wide range of tools and features designed to help businesses grow, manage, and streamline their marketing, sales, and customer service efforts. Okay, so now to get started with HubSpot, all you have to do is just sign in with Google or you can manually add your email address to get started. So I am just signing in with my email account. After the initial sign up, this is where you will get. This is our main dashboard that we get on HubSpot. So you can see we have different dashboards that we actually go for. We have contact, conversations, marketing, sales, services, automations, and report. So in marketing, we will be able to find email right here. This is where we will be able to create our own email marketing campaign. And now here you need to create an email. So simply click on create an email and the new tab will open. Now we can actually select from different templates. HubSpot has a lot of different templates for us and we can choose from different. So now we have welcome one, simple, promotion, plain email and newsletter. So what I will do is I will create a welcome email. Here we will be able to create our new email. So now here the first thing is we need to add our email name. So I am just adding it to test email because we are making a test email. Click on the save button so your changes will saved. So now the next step is to add company logo. What you can do is you can upload any logo right here. Your company logo that you have actually created or you can just simply remove this one. What I will do is I will click on replace and then you will be able to insert image that you have added to your HubSpot from here. And you can select from your folder. We can also actually go ahead and design a logo directly with Canva. We have the Canva integration in. So for now, I am using the design that I saved from Canva and uploaded here. Okay, so now the logo is uploaded and we can reduce its size by reducing the digits here. And now as you see, the size is decreased. Then we have this main content right here. So we have this text right here and you can see, I can of course edit the text. Let's go ahead and edit it out. So you can simply go ahead and delete any of the text and then type in your text. We can of course edit the font and everything. We can actually make it bold if we want to. We have different fonts to choose from. So here we have different fonts. You can make your text bold. You can change the color of the text from here. Let's change it to red. Okay, so next there is alignment, numbered list. You can edit the layout setting. So from here, you can increase or decrease top spacing, bottom spacing, and also you can change the body color. So let's change it to purple. Okay, so now go back. So I want to add an image. All you have to do is drag the image option and drop it wherever you want and it will be added right here. Now I can just simply click on select image and click image that I have. There you go. It will be added here. Now I can again edit this section. Let's reduce the size so it looks good in our email. And you can see the size will be changed. Similarly, I can change the background. I can apply different settings from here. Once you are done, you simply click on done. After that, I can again add my socials. Let's add my socials to my email right here. So what you can do is simply drag it and drop it where you want to. And you will see my socials will be added here. So we have Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. If I want to add another one, simply click on this icon. Select the network so we don't have WhatsApp here. So click on WhatsApp and add your number here and it will be added right here. And when people will receive this email, they will be able to check all of your socials. We can simply, you know, and now we can add divider here in the same way, drag and drop. Divider is really important. We can actually divide different sections and it helps us to kind of like organize our email. So this is how you will simply design your email and it looks really professional. You can add pictures, videos, you can add different content to your email right here. We can also change the design, change template, we can change the buttons that we have added to our email right here. So once you are done with editing, what you can do is you can move on to the setting. So in the setting, what you have to do is you will be able to find the subject line right here. So here you can add a subject line. So for now, I am just going to write welcome. Then we have a preview text. We can select the language and we can also select the subscription type. So these are the different settings we can do. Next thing is going to be send or gradual. So in here we add our recipient. You will be able to select all of your different contexts that you have added. 
so i will simply go ahead and select the contents to whom i actually want to send this then we have don't send option as well for example in your list there are people you don't want to send them an email so what you can do is you can simply select any of these different contacts and the email will not send to these contacts here so now here you can actually schedule your email like you can send this email right now or you can schedule it for later you can simply select the date and time so for now i am just going to click the schedule for later and let's go ahead just add a time and date okay perfect now all you have to do is click on send test email because this is the name of for our email right here and it will be sent to these emails that we have added now you can simply go back to your main dashboard the emails that you have created will be shown here you can see this is our email that we just created i can edit it clone it or maybe i can export my email to any other platform to create a brand new email again so this is the final look. I hope you like it. If you have any question or confusion, comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting tutorials. Bye.